Welcome, John. Now, you wouldn't compare our next subject to a gas-sipping economy model. What it really reminds me of is a fine vintage wine, which is to say it's aged well. You know, with a really good wine, it often doesn't matter how old it is, just like this Mercedes-Benz SL design. It's now 15 years old. Sometimes car designs that are only just a few years old don't go down so well. Not so with this latest version of the Mercedes-Benz sports car, the old but new 560 SL. The truth is, Mercedes-Benz is getting ready to bottle a new SL variety, but the current vintage has new sparkle, thanks to some careful pruning in the vineyard. For 86, the SL got a cask full of improvements, not the least of which was a 5.6 liter engine to replace its 3.8 liter. That's where the designation 560 SL comes from. Of course, operation of the folding top is still the same as the 380. First, you turn the lever. Then you lift the hard boot and fold the top forward. Then secure the windshield latches with removable levers. Now secure the back of the top at the rear. Turn the lever again and you're done. There is a hard top, but you'll only want to use it in the winter time. Inside, besides fine walnut on the dash, leather upholstery is now standard. And there's more support in the seats, but still no power adjustment. Seems that for a $53,300 base price tag, that's a significant lack. On the dash, not too much has changed, but what's behind it has. The standard climate control is vastly improved, and the standard AM-FM cassette stereo has anti-theft circuitry. It won't work after it's stolen, though who knows if that will keep it from being swiped in the first place. For the driver, all the necessary gauges are large and right in front, though obscured at the top by the huge non-adjustable steering wheel. And here's a curiosity, a gauge for outside air temperature that's almost as prominent as the steering wheel. Inside that steering wheel, we find something else that Mercedes is prominent in, passive crash protection. The SL and all Mercedes come with the Benz Supplemental Restraint System as standard. The system includes an airbag in the steering wheel for the driver, a knee bolster on the dash, and seat belts for both passengers that tighten up on impact. While there is no rear seat, the SL does use the space for a package shelf. And at the rear, the luggage compartment is very generous for a convertible sports car, and that's with a full-size spare. On top of the trunk, a stuck-on high-mounted stoplight is one of the few changes from the 380 that you can see. But the biggest change of all is that one that you can feel, the 5.6-liter overhead cam V8. Fuel delivery is still by multi-port fuel injection. And even though the engine compartment doesn't appear up to date with that big round air cleaner, it is. There's 227 horsepower now instead of 150 for the 3.8 liter, which speeds things up considerably. We made it to the end of the quarter mile in 15.8 seconds at a speed of 86, compared to 18.5 at 75 for the last 380 SL we tested. 0 to 60 is down from 10.2 to 7.5 seconds. Mercedes-Benz has also added an anti-squat feature to the rear axle and made a limited slip differential standard. So on takeoffs in the 560, you now look more like king of the road than queen of the boulevard. The 560 suspension has also been revised slightly from the 380. Caster and camber settings have been altered for better tracking. We felt it and the increased tendency for the car to swing its tail around promptly in a turn. But it happens at a higher speed than in the 380, so cornering power is also higher. The 560's moderate body roll will encourage most drivers to slow down before getting in over their heads. But at the same time, the car is very satisfying for the most demanding driver. As we've noted on other Mercedes-Benz products, their engineers always upgrade systems together. The 560 gets an excellent anti-skid brake system as standard. The average stopping distance was easy to calculate. All six test stops were the same, a very short, straight, and fade-free 101 feet. However, for the record, our last non-anti-lock 380 SL took 99 feet and was only slightly less secure, a credit to all Mercedes-Benz brakes. The list of improvements goes on. The mount for the rear axle was refined for better sound insulation. 
The result is a one decibel drop in sound level. With soft top up, sound measures 69 to further complement that straight as an arrow feel at highway speeds. About the only thing that didn't improve on the 560 is mileage. It's EPA rated at 14 city, 17 highway. Our average was 16. We got 20 on the 380. Doesn't matter though, if you can afford the car, you can afford the gas. So topping off our list of hits, improved acceleration, followed closely by the anti-lock brakes. We also like the airbag supplemental restraint system and the very high level of standard features, including a lot of nifty items from an alarm system to heated windshield washer jets. On the miss side, we think a car with a price like this should have power adjustments for the seats and the steering wheel should also be adjustable. So the 560 SL design is showing its age in some ways, but there's one more thing about a Mercedes. When a gas station attendant heard the price of the SL, he said, well, at least it'll be around in 20 years. And that's something you can't always say about many things for which you pay top dollar, including vintage wine.